while Hassan sleeps, there's a very interesting bird that I haven't seen for quite some time, just on the northern side of Treehouse Dam. It's not a bird that is uncommon. There are a lot of them around. I just haven't seen one for quite a long time, and I haven't seen them rooting around. Has it caught something there, Senzo? It looks like it's caught something. So it's a hummercorp that we've got there. Now, hummercorp are birds that, that often are wading on the fringes and they look for any signs of frogs or fish or anything that they can get their little beaks on and even freshwater mussels and crabs they'll go after that as well but this hummercorp you'll see as it goes along the fringes will use its feet in a little shuffle it's almost got like a little dance move that it goes along and it just kind of moves those little feet and shifts out anything that's trapped in the mud and then uses that big piercing head to grab whatever it is and then shove it down into the stomach now this particular bird, the Hummerkop name, Hummer is a hammer in Afrikaans and Kop is a head in Afrikaans. So when you see its head shape, look, it just likes the top of a hammer head and that's why it got that name. Now these birds actually have got a lot of interesting things. They build a massive, massive nest in comparison to the size of them. So they are have nests that are bigger than even the Wahlberg's eagle nest that we've been seeing or the vulture nest. They build massive, massive nests and they are notorious for being birds that like all kinds of trinkets in their nests. So you'll find if you go to Hummer nest you'll find bits of glass you'll find bits of wrapping paper you'll find anything that is shiny colorful they will be inside the nest and they use that every year and unless that gets repurposed by somebody else you'll find often you'll get a situation where vultures will take it over or eagles and i've even seen black mumbers taking it over and using it as a home so black mumbers do love a hummercorp nest which is why you've got to be very careful when you go anywhere near hummercorp nest that there isn't a snake lurking and it's nice that he's come all the way around that we can see him a lot better you can see that head now perfectly just like a hammer and per a very 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 good name and an apt name for this particular bird there we go it just caught something you need to go to where that elephant dung is that we had yesterday there was lots of little insects around there and this little bird would have a field day catching all those water boatmen um, but the other thing about them is that there's quite a few sort of interesting local theories about them and now all of a sudden while I was thinking about it I've just drawn a blank I had it earlier as to what the local theories are what are those walking there is that warthogs sorry I've got only one eye so my binocular vision has gone pear shaped but I think there's some warthogs coming are those warthogs Senzo? Yeah. yes they are warthogs so the warthog family on its way to as well. it seems as though Tundams is a place to be we don't need to move anywhere we've had impalas we've got a leopard sounds like Ellie's are on their way there's some warthogs somewhere well arriving at for water and so it just shows you when the weather changes and we go from that cool weather that we had yesterday to warm weather how water becomes such a vital part and why it's important to check water holes in an afternoon when you've got a lot of sun it means animals are driven there they have to drink they have to rehydrate um, and it is the best place to sit in winter months and that's why you find people when they go to parks around Africa in the dry months that they will go and sit at water holes the entire day and it's amazing actually what comes down through the 24-hour period in hot hot dry conditions but how big is this warthog grouping there is how many one two three four five six seven of them so a really nice big size of warthogs there's a female by the looks of it a male bringing up the ranks and then one two three four five six little piglets so there's actually eight of them I counted wrong back to school for me to go learn how to count but there are eight piglets let's see if they're all going to line up it'll be such a cool picture if we have warties all lining up to drink because look at the beautiful light on them come on guys get into a nice tight line like a pride of lions and let's see you all drinking at once Hosanna hasn't seen them at all he's all just still in lala land but it's going to be nice when we have our warties all lined up together very cool and this female's done so well to have raised six piglets is an incredible feat. Piglets are hunted by everything when they're tiny, so snakes, birds of prey, leopard, lion, um, wild dogs, cheetah, everything will go after baby warthogs. And so for this warthog family to have raised all six in a leopard dense environment that is this area around twin dams is actually an incredible feat. So they've done super well and hopefully no Tingana is around because he would love a warty dinner that's for sure these guys will survive how beautiful is that though look at the reflections on the water whole bunch of warthogs lined up drinking not every day that we get that our warthogs are generally so shy but because we're sitting here we're off they've approached the water they've seen us from a long way away if i had to drive here now you'd find that it'll all scatter and move out the way but because we've been sitting for some time they have relaxed completely and are really enjoying a good drink 
So mom is the one that is on the far left closest to us, that has got the biggest tusks, and then there looks like a young male. Noli, you say, wake up, Hosanna, your food's here. And it seems like Hosanna doesn't want impala. He doesn't want little pork sausages today. So who knows what he feels like. Maybe he wants something else. Maybe he's in for a mood for rabbit tonight, and he wants a scrub here, or maybe he's going to be a little bit more crazy and go for something like tortoise. You never know. It depends on the evening. What's it tonight? Tuesday. I wonder what dinner club is on Tuesday for a leopard. <laughs> no, in all seriousness though, warthogs for him would be quite difficult. He's still not really that big and, and that female warthog that's drinking there would be a handful for Hassan. If he grabbed one of those piglets, she would come flying at him and trying to chase him and he'd have a really tough time of it. So it's actually an animal that he's going to struggle with until he gets a little bit more bulky to be able to grab one of those but how cool was that that they came down t to drink and had a little bit of water and really just kind of lined up nicely for us that was very pleasant i quite enjoyed that now hopefully the ailies will be the next ones that arrive now while we sit here and watch for whatever animal is next let's go back to taylor mccurdy and see her best australian accent <laughs> 